there are few recreational vehicles that command as much attention and nostalgia as the GMC Motorhome. Everyone, from van lifers to young families to retirees, are drawn to this one-of-a-kind vehicle. Its beautiful design, comfortable ride, and countless amenities make it a big draw for those who wish to cruise the open road in style. You know, the whole, the whole history of this GMC was amazing. Should have never been built. Why? Because it was so far ahead. Nobody thought about adjustable caster or what, what the aerodynamic design was or the roll case construction to be expanded. These guys thought about that in the 70s. This machine was not a compilation of a flatbed truck chassis and a turtle shell. This was a 20-year project. Nothing was really designed that far in motorhomes. It was designed in a wind tunnel with Boeing's help. Center of gravity is 34 inches off the ground. It's a go-kart. That's the uniqueness that GM said, we're not going to build something that looks like a Winnebago. It, they look cool. They look better than anything else out there. That's why they're still around. That's why people are interested in them, because it's a visual thing. And for Jim, it was love at first sight. Holy moly, look at this. This is amazing. What is this thing? I wasn't a motorhomer, but the day that I saw this thing, that was it. That was the punch. GMC was the only major automotive manufacturer to produce a complete motorhome from the ground up. They designed and built everything in-house. And between 1973 and 78, they manufactured 13,800 of these beauties. It's believed that there are still 9,000 roadworthy coaches. But after 50 years, there's plenty of room for improvement. So in 1997, Jim founded the GMC Co-op as a way to bring together professionals in order to facilitate a space for one-stop restoration of these aerospace engineered machines. It needs to be updated so they can be brought back to the road. That's the future, you know, and that's what Jason's doing because he's going to set all the clocks back mechanically. They look cool. I mean, they look like something that would be made today. They don't look like a coach that was manufactured 50 years ago. I love taking something and making it better than what it could have originally been. Like, what is the absolute best we can do with them? A lot of times when a coach comes to us, it's not so much anything wrong with the body on them, but the frame, the suspension, you know, 50 years on rubber, you know, components in the suspension system, it's just, they're not meant to last that long. So I want to take a full chassis, build it out, and have it ready for somebody to bring their motor home to me. We lift their body off of it, put the new chassis under it, they can drive off in a matter of weeks instead of years, and they have a fully reliable vehicle with you know new engine, transmission, final drive, brakes, fuel tank, fuel system, you know all that. I've driven all sorts of you know large vehicles, and these just drive so much better than any of those. They really just don't feel like you're driving a motorhome or even a large van, and you, you have such a wide field of view, and you sit so kind of high that you know, but it's still not a tall vehicle. So it's just such a, a neat feat of engineering. The future looks bright for GMC Motorhomes. These talented and knowledgeable guys are doing everything they can to help the dream continue for future generations. That's what it's about. You know, if you can get in the loop, kind of like AAA, and you can help somebody right then at least determine what's going on. What's the next step? That's what I can do to help people. The one company has brought us to the point of understanding what the future needs to be. What does the motorhome need to continue on? All the people in the past have brought it up to this point. Now the next generation is, is rediscovering these things. And they're wore out. They need to be updated and they're going, tell me, how do I do this? That's the kind of thing that's going to keep these motorhomes going in the future.